We're here at Pro Motor Racing Engines, and we just finished dynoing my dad's old vintage NASCAR engine. And I'm with Mitch Stapleton from Stapleton Auto Works, Stapleton 42 on YouTube. Check them out. They got some great videos they've already done on my dad to give you the back history on this engine. Now we dynoed it, and it was not what we thought it was going to be. <laughs> yeah, less than impressive is what it was. I think Dad expected it was supposed to be like 730 and we were 480. Yeah, somebody got their numbers mixed up. Just a wee bit <laughs> off, right? Yeah. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna tear this engine down, find out what's inside, and the long-term plan is to rebuild the engine and freshen it up and Hopefully we can get it back up to that 730 number. And then the cool part is, in the end, what are we gonna do? Put it back in the car and get Lake back in the car. Right. Let him feel some real horsepower because last time he thought he had 730 and he probably didn't. So we'll see how excited he is to drive real horsepower next time. So let's get this thing pulled apart and find out what's inside because I can't wait to see why it didn't make any more power than it did. Yeah, there's gotta be something interesting to find in there. Exactly. I get this thing torn apart. Okay, so we pulled it apart and much to our chagrin, what did we find? Nothing. Right. <laughs> Nothing. There's no clear reason other than maybe one thing we found that you could say why the engine was so far off of what we expected it to be, what we were told it should be. Yeah, there's no smoking gun. No, everything mechanically seems very sound. What we did find is that these are dish pistons for a nine to one, so a lower compression. Which would not be good. No, yeah. there's no real good answer. As no like smoking gun, like you said, ah, like, oh, surprise, we, we got you. Dennis checked the cam, everything's normal and good. But the nice thing is, it's good parts inside. There's a old school Hank the Crank uh, crankshaft, uh, CP pistons, Corilla rods. I mean, it's all good stuff inside the engine. We just have our work cut out for us and trying to figure out, I mean, the ring package was a 043, 1.5 millimeter, three millimeter ring package. So definitely not state of the art for today. So we can cut that probably in half and that'll help a little bit, but. Let's get a better uh, combination of parts that's meant to work together. Well, that's what we're gonna do, right? Obviously these guys here at PME, they know what they're doing. They've built lots of race engines of all different types. So at this point, we've dynoed it, we've pulled it apart, we know there's nothing broken. So now it's about getting the right parts in the engine and then seeing what it can do. So this is gonna be fun. Yes, it will. We're tired now, so we're gonna go eat. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we work straight through lunch, no break. So yeah, we're exhausted, we're tired. We'll see you. See ya.